the US Navy has officially confirmed that it carried out a test of a Trident D-5 submarine-launched ballistic missile over the Atlantic Ocean on February 9, 2021. An Ohio-class ballistic missile submarine, or SSBN, fired the weapon from within the service's eastern range off the coast of Florida. As per reports, the missile did not have any live nuclear warheads. The U.S. Navy did not name the particular submarine that fired the missile. This is thought to be a system evaluation test. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Trident D-5 missile armed Ohio-class submarines are the most potent platform of the U.S. military. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The Ohio class is a class of nuclear-powered submarines that's considered to be one of the most lethal platforms in the world. The U.S. Navy has 18 Ohio-class submarines, 14 ballistic missile submarines SSBN, and four that were later converted to guided missile submarines SSGN. The Ohio-class boats entered service in the 1980s as a replacement for five different classes of ballistic missile submarines. Ohio-class was created to be the ultimate nuclear deterrence. The logic of nuclear deterrence is like this. While a first strike might wipe out a country's land-based missiles and nuclear bombers, it's very difficult to track a ballistic missile submarine patrolling quietly in the depths of the ocean, and it's almost impossible to take them all out in a first strike. So ballistic missile submarines deter any enemy from launching a preemptive first strike. The Ohio-class submarines are the largest submarines ever built for the U.S. Navy having a displacement of 16,764 tons. These have a length of 560 feet or 170 meters and have a speed of around 20 to 25 knots. Being nuclear-powered, it has unlimited range and endurance, limited only by food supplies. Each Ohio class has two crews of 154 officers and enlisted personnel, designated gold and blue who take turns departing on patrols that last an average of 70 to 90 days underwater, with the longest on record being 140 days by the USS Pennsylvania. An average of a month is spent between patrols, with resupply facilitated by three large-diameter supply hatches. The submarines of this class have multiple sensors. The surface search, navigation, and fire control radar is BPS-15A I and J band radar. The sonar suite includes IBM BQQ-6 passive search sonar, Raytheon BQS-13, BQS-15 active and passive high-frequency sonar, BQR-15 passive towed array from Western Electric, and the active BQR-19 navigation sonar from Raytheon. Colmorgan Type 152 and Type 82 periscopes are fitted. Ohio-class submarines also come armed with four 21-inch tubes that can launch Mark 48 torpedoes. Mark 48 torpedo has a range of 50 kilometers or 31 miles. It has 650 pound or 290 kilogram high explosive warhead. However, these are intended primarily for self-defense. A ballistic missile submarine's job isn't to hunt enemy ships and submarines, but to lie as low and quiet as possible to deny rivals any means of tracking their movements. The first eight Ohio-class boats were originally built to launch the Trident 1 C-4 ballistic missile, an advanced version of the earlier Poseidon SLBM. However, by now, all of these are armed with the superior Trident 2 D-5 ballistic missile.
Trident 2 was designed to be more advanced than its predecessor, Trident 1. Trident 2 was put into service in 1990. It has a greater range and payload capacity compared to Trident 1. The missile is 13.579 meters in length, 2.11 meters in diameter, and weighs in at 58 and a half tons. It's a three-stage rocket, each stage containing a solid fuel rocket motor. It's thought to have an accuracy of 90 meters CEP. Trident 2 has a range of 11,000 kilometers or 6,835 miles, and Ohio class ballistic missile submarines carry 24 of these. Trident 2 is a multiple independently targetable re entry vehicle, MIRV missile. Each Trident 2 can carry up to 14 W88 475 kiloton warheads or 14 W76 100 kiloton warheads. To give viewers a perspective, Little Boy atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima had a yield of 15 kilotons of TNT, and Fat Man atomic bomb that was detonated over Nagasaki had a yield of 21 kilotons of TNT. New START strategic arms reduction treaty between the United States and the Russian Federation agreed on having only eight warheads per missile. So currently each Trident 2 is armed with eight warheads. In short, a full salvo from an Ohio class submarine, which can be launched in less than a minute, could unleash up to 24 multiple eight, in other words, 192 nuclear warheads. This is enough to obliterate huge landmass. The 14 ballistic missile submarines of Ohio class together carry approximately 50% of the total U.S. active inventory of strategic thermonuclear warheads. A credible, effective nuclear deterrent is essential to the national security of the U.S. Not only this, U.S. is also directly and indirectly responsible for the security of many nations, including NATO members. Ballistic missile submarines are the cornerstone of America's nuclear posturing and will remain so for the foreseeable future. The Trident II SLBM deployed in Ohio class subs is the most survivable part of America's nuclear deterrent and allows great operational flexibility. In this situation, it's paramount that the U.S. regularly validates these missiles. This is especially true when we consider the fact that the missiles went through the Life Extension Program. This demonstrates the solid reliability of Trident II missile and Ohio-class submarines as a platform. The firepower ensures that no adversary will dare to use nukes against the U.S. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.